Welcome to Live It, Learn It screencast of Texcursions, which is our mobile app. Today we're going to be focused on the United States Botanic Garden. And let's see what, how this app works. Students will be prompted <coughs> by a character to walk them through this program. Spike is the um, uh, plant that's going to be walking them through the Botanic Garden. And he not only explains to them um, what they're going to be doing today about plants, but also explains that he's a different type of plant. And their job today is to unlock the secret of how plants can be different from other plants, yet still be successful plants. The first challenge the students have to do is uh, review how a plant traditionally works. So here you see the words and the definition are all mixed up. And what students have to do is they have to put them in order by moving the tiles around. And once they've done that, they reviewed how a plant generally works. And then um, they're prompted to go on to the next screen. Spike welcomes them into the garden court of the Botanic Garden, and by welcoming in, he explains to them that they're going to do a scavenger hunt in the Botanic Garden in which they're finding five different plants, and of those five different plants, what they're doing is they're figuring out what parts of those plants humans use on a regular basis. The first plant they're going to look at is bamboo, and um, <laughs> once they've found that plant in the garden court, they have to answer a question to figure out what part of the plant is used to be making furniture. Well, if they choose incorrectly, that option falls off, but if they choose correctly, they get um, congratulated and some bells and whistles, and they can move on. And the next thing they have to do is they have to take a photograph, and they have to take a photograph showing the part of the plant that is actually used in making furniture. Here we have our students. As soon as they've taken that photograph showing that, they get to save their photo, and their caption bar comes up. They actually have to answer and complete the caption. Once they've completed the caption, there's a send button, and they send that off to their account in Texcursions. Once they've done that for all five plants within the garden court, Spike congratulates them and says, now it's time to figure out how some plants are actually different than the norm. So we've got three plants that are going to be focusing on, the fern, the orchid, and the barrel cactus. You notice each one of them has been locked down. Students now have to figure out how to unlock each of those plants um, through the different challenges they're going to be faced ahead. The first one they're going to be focused on is the barrel cactus. They have to first figure out where the barrel cactus is within the botanic garden. So they got to choose down below which biome. If they choose incorrectly, it falls off. If they choose correctly, there's some congratulations to them and they know that they have to be going to the desert room where they're going to find the barrel cactus. As soon as uh, students find the barrel cactus in the desert room, they tap their screen again and they're prompted to watch a 60 second video about how the barrel cactus actually adapts to life in the desert. After they've done that, they can use the information around the barrel cactus to also answer the question that we have here, which figuring out which one of these answers is not true. And um, if they choose one that is true, it marks as true, and then they're prompted to keep trying to figure out which one is actually false. Once they do that, you notice that the progress bar actually gets a little bit longer right over here, and they can move on to the next thing, in which um, Spike congratulates them, and they have to take a photograph, acting like a barrel cactus adapting to life in the desert. Here we have an example, and this caption bar is a little bit different. Students have 140 characters and actually to explain how a barrel cactus adapts to life in the desert. As soon as they've done that, they send that off, and then they are prompted to solve the code to the padlock. We see here are our words and our pictures, and students have to scroll through them and press unlock. And once we've done that, this looks good. Let's unlock that and see what happens. Boom. Check this out. The uh, cactus here is unlocked, but the orchid and the fern are still on lockdown. So students would have to go through those challenges in order to do that. Once students have done all three of those, Spike welcomes them back and congratulates them. Says, hey, guess what? Now you know how plants are actually different. Now it's time for you to understand how I'm different too. So what Spike actually reveals to them that he's the bullhorn acacia plant or a tree and um, tells them to go to the adaptation room. Once students are there, it actually the app prompts students to have a 60 second conversation about why they think those thorns are on those branches. And then they're prompted to watch a video. And in watching that video, Students learn about how ants live in those um, horns and actually protect the plant. Then they have to take their photograph as usual and they take it acting like a bullhorn acacia plant. Then they have a caption bar that comes up. They have to explain in 140 characters how the acacia tree is different. And then they send that to their account in Texcursions. Well, Spike congratulates them once again, reminds them that plants are can be unique and still thrive, and reminds the students in order to do the exact same thing. And then students are prompted to have um, a really quick review game that they can play among themselves, in which they're touching the photographs down below that connect to the sentence that's above. So reproduces differently, does not have seeds. The students would click fern real quickly, and they would get a score for that, and they could pass that around to each other. But here's the really cool thing. All of those photographs get sent into their um, Texcursions book in which they can create a reflection essay or report and that can be used for academic credit in order to show what students have learned on their trips um, to text using Texcursions. We'd love for you to contact us to tell us what you think.